So you really want to become a full-time video editor? Awesome! You gotta make sure to know Premiere inside out. And this video is a perfect exercise for you. Follow along carefully because if you make it through the entire video, you will have learned so much that you're ready to start your career. But if you don't, you will never become a video editor. <laughs> But Jordi, what exercise is that? Well, we're gonna turn this simple picture into a full advanced animation. So hold your pants because Premiere is already running. Here we can see Charlie's house in the nature. It's just a simple JPEG. Now the first thing I want to bring to life is the boat. But to do that, we need to mask it. Now we can't take the entire boat because of this wood that's in the way. But we can take a part of the boat. Hold down Alt and drag the picture one track up to duplicate it. Also, don't forget to name your clips to stay organized. Then go to the effects control controls and in opacity click the pen tool then in the program monitor draw a mask around this part so that we have a smaller boat now you can move it anywhere you want in the picture now to animate it place the boat on the left of the lake move the playhead to the first frame of the picture and set a position keyframe then move forward in time and move the boat to the right now it looks weird because the boat overlaps with the mountains and the house so let me show you how to fix that hold down alt again and duplicate the bottom picture on top of the boat then go to the effects controls and click the pen tool. In the program monitor, create a mask around the mountains. Now the boat will come from behind the bushes. Now follow the same steps for the house and now we already have some life in our video. But we're not done with the boat just yet, we need to let it go with the flow. To do that, create 5 keyframes in between the first and the second one. Then select the motion property and now these levers will appear. Now pull them up until you see a shape like a wave. Now the boat will literally go with the flow. Now use this masking technique with other objects or animals as well. For example, I found a bird vector on story blocks and made it look like it was flying behind the house. Or a cat lurking around. You can get really creative with this. Alright, the first door just opened. Congratulations, masking is now a piece of cake for you. However, without the next door, your dream of becoming a full-time video editor will not come true. So let's continue. The next thing I want to bring to life is the sky. I mean, clouds are supposed to be moving, right? Now, to make that happen, select all the clips that are in front of the sky and move them two tracks higher. We're doing this because we want everything that happens in front of the sky to stay there. Hold down Alt and duplicate the original image. Now select it and go to the effects controls. Click the pen tool and in the program monitor create a mask around the clouds. Now we do have one problem though, we can't really just move them because the mountains are in the front. And this is where understanding layers comes in. Duplicate the original clip again and drag it on top of the clouds. Then create a mask around the mountains. Now you can scale up the clouds and add a small position animation to the clip. And now that you understand layers, you're almost ready to get to the third door, but we need to do something else first. You see, I want to add some smoke to the chimney. So let me just find something from Storyblocks. Oh, and also sponsoring this video, by the way. Just type in smoke overlay and oh, this one is going to work. Now click the download button and there you go, right inside the project window. Now we want the smoke to be behind the chimney. So select everything that is in front and move it one track up. Then go to the project window and drag the smoke asset in the timeline. Head over to the effects controls and in opacity set the blend mode to screen. That way it blends better with the image. Now select the motion property and go to the program monitor. Adjust the scale and position of the smoke and there you go. Now you can actually find more than a million high quality royalty free stock assets all in HD or 4K resolution. And you can download an unlimited amount of those all without leaving Premiere. You can find anything from animations, nature videos, office videos, green screen clips, and the list goes on. If you need multiple shots on a specific topic, definitely check out collections. You can download a package of videos that all fits together perfectly. And this has saved me so much time over and over again. And speaking of saving time, by using the Premiere Pro or After Effects templates, you don't need to create your own text animations anymore. Just download one and you're ready to go. Or maybe you need a bunch of transitions that's there as well. Now on other stock websites, you need to pay an expensive price for downloads, but with story blocks, you will get everything for one set price that you can pay monthly or annually. I also have my very own landing page with footage from my travel videos, car crashes, and so much more. They are there for you to download. I shot them all in lock so that you have the most control when color grading the footage. Now, I've been using story blocks for so many years now, and I can truly recommend it to any creative. So take back your creative control with story blocks, unlimited royalty free stock library, and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash premier basics or just simply click the first link 
link in the description down below. And now let's get back to Premiere because the next trick will blow your, your pants off. I think we can start calling this a video now. No, wait, the water isn't moving just yet. Duplicate the original and head over to the effects controls. Grab the pen tool and in the program monitor, draw a mask around the white lines in the water. Also, in the effects controls, feather the mask a little and if needed, click the pen tool again and go back to the program monitor. Create a secondary mask and now we can get the water moving. Go to the effects library and find the turbulent displace effect. Drag it onto the water and head over to the effects controls. Now move the playhead to the beginning of your video and set an evolution keyframe. Move to the end of the clip and increase the evolution. And now the water is moving. There you go. Quick tip. Premiere is gonna have trouble with your playback because of turbulent displays is heavy on your PC. If that's the case, you can just turn off the layer until you're done with the animation. And yes, 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 that was a third door, my friend. We're killing it. And now I need your full attention for the next trick because you're gonna need it if you're serious about video editing. We're gonna transition this video from day to night with a super cool color grading trick. Now to do that, go to the project window and click the new item button. Now choose adjustments layer. Drag it on top of your clips and head over to the Lumetri panel. Expand the basic correction tab and drag the temperature slider to blue because it's, it's colder at night. Then turn down the saturation just a little bit because at night colors are less visible. It's science guys. Now to make it darker just decrease the exposure. Then increase the contrast and that looks amazing. Now to turn this into a transition, control and click two times on the opacity line on the adjustment layer to create two keyframes. Then drag down the first half of the clip. Then in the effects controls you can see the opacity keyframes that we just created. Now right click the first one and choose ease out. Right click the second one and choose ease in. It is already looks very cool but we can't leave it like this. We need a beautiful moon with some stars around it. You know and that's actually super easy. Just select all the clips above the clouds then move them one track higher and I found this clip of stars on story blocks. Just drag that in between the clips and now we're gonna match the transition from the sky with that. Now to do that just select the adjustment layer and go to the effects controls. Copy the opacity property and select the stars video. Then press Control V on your keyboard and there you go. Now it's time to add a moon. Drag a PNG moon on top of the day to night clip and adjust the position so it fits the sky. Again, copy the opacity animation from the adjustment layer and just paste them onto the moon clip. Now duplicate the moon one track up and select the first one. Head over to the effects library and find Gaussian blur. Drag it onto the clip and go to the effects controls. Increase the blurriness by a lot, which will create a nice glow effect. You can also animate the moon coming in from the sky. Of course, don't forget to ease in the last keyframe. And congratulations, you just made it through the fourth door. Ah, oh, crap, it's locked. Well, that, that means you still need to find the key to open it. Okay, better get back to work then. As you can see, it's dark and, and now I can't see anything in the house. So let's turn on the lights. Now to do that, make sure that no clip is selected and then grab the pen tool. In the program monitor, draw the shape of the windows. When that is done, head over to the essential graphics and set the color of the windows to yellow. Then duplicate the window and create a glow effect again again by using the Gaussian blur like we did before with the moon. Do this for every window. Now if you like to turn on the lights one by one, you do need to have each window in a separate layer. You can then simply trim the clips to let them start a little bit later than the other one. That looks amazing. Oh, and there's the key. Wait, let me get it for you. Here you go, my friend. Now, good luck with your editing journey. Wait, don't leave. Is that a fifth door? Crap, that means you're not ready yet. Yeah, that's right. The timeline from this video is a big mess. Well, in the video here on my left, you will learn how to put all of these layers into one motion graphic layer. So check out that video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.